Hey, welcome to the Tuesday shout out. Today we're shouting out Sarah, a music therapist in Texas, and she writes, Dear Cat, my biggest professional challenge is finding ways to connect with other music therapists. I'm a contract music therapist and I drive to all my clients' homes. That means I spent a lot of time on the road, which gives me less time to plan sessions and get creative. Does that sound familiar to anyone out there? I am so tired by the end of my work days that I feel unmotivated to create new songs or experiences. And that results in using some of the same ideas week after week after week, which feeds into our burnout, right? Okay, I don't think you're the only one out there, Sarah, who experiences this. I'm gonna ask for a hand raise for anybody else who experiences this. I've got four great suggestions for you, but first I wanna tell you that what I'm gonna do with you is turn your car into a learning center. Now, of course, the first priority is to get from point A to point B very safe and sound. But if you're gonna to listen to the radio anyway while you're in the car, you might as well listen to something that teaches you something or rejuvenates you or restores your health and wellness, right? So I got four suggestions for turning your car into a learning center. Okay, number one suggestion is get an audiobook to listen to. This has saved my life. I love audiobooks. I listen to Audible all the time. I couldn't be without it. So find one of your favorite books and listen to Audible. Second piece I have for you here is to listen to a podcast in your car. And what you gotta do is load it up beforehand. Some podcasts that I recommend, number one would be Janice Lindstrom's The Music Therapy Show. Check that one out, we got a link below. Number two is The Music Therapy Round Table. Okay, check that one out too, we got a link for you below. And number three is AMTA's Pro Podcast. Uh, where uh, Kathy Canole goes around the United States and interviews tons of music therapists and their work and their specialty. Number three, done for you MP3s. And uh, first of all, you can download the Motown mix that I've made for you below. Actually, this is something that I've made for my team uh, in San Diego. And I think that this way is a really great way to learn because it kind of walks you through the chords that are used. And there are a couple of other people that I recommend looking up in their MP3s to learn from, okay? So if you're working with kids, then check out Rachel Ramback, check out Amy Callis, check out Rachel C. From these three people, you will find hundreds of MP3s to download, load up onto your device, and fix your car up for a good learning experience. For any kind of adult soundtracks that you want to use, incorporate into your adult work, um, I recommend Christine Stevens, and I also recommend our little Motown mix that you can get below. Number four tip I have for you is to make up your own mp3s that you can listen to. So if there are songs that you've got to learn and you've restored yourself and you've created a learning center in your car that's very safe, then maybe you're ready and maybe you feel up to creating your own teaching mp3s to help you along the way. Thank you so much, Sarah, for writing in your challenge. Now, if you are a music therapist and you know what it's like to feel burnout or isolated or feel exhausted by the end of the day, please leave your tips and help Sarah out in a comment below. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. If you have a friend who's experiencing some of this isolation, then this video would be perfect for them. Maybe help them get out of a rut. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe to the Tuesday shout out so that you don't miss another beat from Music Therapy Ed dot com.